it must be said that with regard to the appearance at wimbledon new information has come out about novik Djokovic, the world's number two tennis player he had kind words for kate during the award ceremony in a conversation with serbian media it seems that Djokovic revealed he spoke with the princess just as she was handing him the trophy words we hadn't heard until now Djokovic was at home at wimbledon but for the second consecutive time he had to settle for the runner-up trophy which was presented to him by kate middleton he bowed to her capturing an image of kate smiling forming a perfect triangle as mentioned in one of our previous videos after the match novik Djokovic revealed he expressed his happiness to the princess of wales for seeing her in good health after serious health problems kate in fact had to undergo chemotherapy after discovering she had cancer following abdominal surgery in january the seven-time wimbledon champion stated obviously it was a privilege to be in her presence again i told her it's wonderful to see her in good health it seems she's doing well these words were highly appreciated by the english public and press Djokovic continued obviously this is very positive news for everyone in this country but also for Wimbledon and the championship to have her here, Her Royal Highness, with her family. It's incredible and also fantastic the support they have provided to this tournament over the years. I know she and her sister Pippa have been playing tennis for a long time, so they truly respect and admire this game. They also understand tennis, which is fantastic. It's wonderful to have this kind of support from the British royal family. These were some of Novik Djokovic's words to Serbian media, now revealed days after the weekend filled with news about Kate Middleton's reappearance, her words with Carlos Alcaraz, and now with the world number two, the Serbian Djokovic. It must also be mentioned that some British tabloids reported a supposed awkward question that Kate asked Carlos Alcaraz in private. After presenting the trophy on the court, the Princess of Wales had a brief conversation with the Spanish player in which her daughter Charlotte also participated. A video we had seen here seemed to have been in one of the famous live streams we did that Sunday night. The reunion of Carlos with Kate that weekend brought very good news, but in this case we had those phrases, or rather that question exchanged, quick words on the playing field, and later the same informal conversation between Kate, Charlotte, and Alcarez. This has now been partially revealed to the press, showing the royal family's closer and more natural side with the tennis player. In a clip published by BBC Sport, Kate is seen at one point in the conversation asking Alcarez a fun question on behalf of her daughter, the kids want to know who your favorite football player is, to which he replied without hesitation, the captain of the Spanish national football team, Alvaro Morata. Kate commented to Princess Charlotte, who was very excited to speak with the tennis player she had seen on television many times, we'll have to watch out for Morata. This whole chat revolved around the upcoming Euro Cup final between Spain and England, which Spain eventually won. Carlos, a true football enthusiast, was so into it that he arrived a few minutes late to the traditional Wimbledon champions dinner that night. Although his conversation with the Princess of Wales added a touch of freshness to the moment, it was an awkward question for Alcaraz, who had been booed by the Wimbledon crowd for mentioning football, saying Sunday will be a big day for Spaniards. Smiling after winning the tournament, he added, I didn't say Spain will win, I just said it's going to be a very fun day. Right at that moment, after winning the Wimbledon Cup, the Spanish national team indeed secured the title, with Kate Middleton demonstrating no hard feelings with a warm congratulation to the Spanish team alongside her two children, Charlotte and Louis. This would be that awkward question filtered by the press following the boos Alcaraz received for his comment at the Wimbledon tournament. As usual, Kate was the center of media attention, but Pippa Middleton's presence also did not go unnoticed, becoming newsworthy even without an official statement. She substituted for her brother-in-law, Prince William, who had attended Wimbledon last year, supporting his wife. Pippa sat in the royal box next to her niece Charlotte, and was especially emotional and proud 
when they received her sister with an ovation. This significant return of the Middletons to public life came while Kate continued her cancer treatment. Until now, they hadn't spoken about Kate's health publicly. Many wondered why there were no photos or anything about the Middleton family. This gesture of accompanying the future queen consort at one of her favorite commitments confirms that during this tumultuous time for the British monarchy, the princes of Wales rely on Kate's biological family both personally and institutionally. They are now prominently placed, having played significant roles in royal events such as the coronation of Charles. The Middletons' return to public life in this context carries special significance and greater impact than ever. The Middletons have stepped forward and are gaining more media attention in the past month while Kate continues her cancer treatment. They have been seen at several institutional events and others closely tied to the Windsors like the Wimbledon Championship. Even Michael and Carol Middleton attended the tournament on July 4 and were at Royal Ascot, on June 19, if I recall correctly. Their presence, chatting with Beatrice and Eugenie of York, and sharing a box with Sarah Ferguson, provided reassurance during their daughter's most challenging time. Until that day, the princess had appeared only once since announcing her cancer diagnosis and had not confirmed her presence at the Wimbledon men's final until the last moment. The appearance of Kate Middleton's family at this time seems noteworthy and brings comfort to all royal fans concerned about Kate's health since the press release about her surgery in January. We still know very little about her condition months later, and we might never know the details. Thus, we have these new revelations, with Jakovic's words after the match about what Kate Middleton said to him and his thoughts on her appearance. Indeed, Djokovic's words were very cheerful and positive despite losing the match, something he usually does not take well. This time, however, Novak Djokovic and Carlos Alcaraz both performed admirably. Today, Queen Camilla turns 77. She has much to reflect on from the past year. The year 2024 has been a significant challenge, with both her husband and Catherine, the Princess of Wales, being diagnosed with cancer. While the king continues his royal duties indicating stable health, Kate also makes public appearances, as seen at this weekend's Wimbledon, amid her ongoing treatment. Camilla might feel that things are improving and may reflect on how, despite taking 30 years, she finally married the love of her life, King Charles. After both married other people, started families, divorced, and became involved in the most scandalous royal romance in history, they survived the torrent of abuse following Princess Diana's death. Now, after years of hard work, Camilla enjoys relatively high approval ratings in the UK, with the public seeing her as a deserving royal family member. This year, in particular, she has been a steadfast and reliable presence for the royal family, amid swirling changes and turmoil. However, many people still remember Diana and harbor resentment towards Camilla Parker Bowles. Today, the Prince and Princess of Wales and the royal family extended their good wishes to Queen Camilla on her 77th birthday. The official social media accounts of the royal family were the first to wish Her Majesty a happy birthday, with the Instagram account sharing some photos of Camilla with the caption, We wish her. Majesty, the Queen, a very happy birthday today. Shortly afterward, the Prince and Princess of Wales shared a photo of Her Majesty in the garden of her home, an image taken by Kate Middleton, apparently to commemorate Camilla's 75th birthday two years ago, which had been featured on the cover of Country Life magazine, where Her Majesty was a guest editor. We wish Her Majesty a very happy birthday, the caption read, her Majesty, who spent the last two days in the Channel Islands as part of an official visit with King Charles, will celebrate this milestone while preparing for the state opening of Parliament. Hundreds of people wished the royal family a happy birthday. Today, trumpets sounded, tiaras were raised, and tradition prevailed in the United Kingdom as King Charles Roman III presided over the opening of the British Parliament, dressed in his ceremonial robe and state crown. 
King Charles Roman III outlined the legislative program of the first left-wing government in the UK in 14 years, officially inaugurating this new session of Parliament. On Wednesday, the grandeur of the monarchy joined politics with a diamond-adorned crown. The monarch sat on a golden throne and announced the government's legislative agenda for the year. The King's speech was the centerpiece of this state opening of Parliament, and also an occasion for Prime Minister Keir Starmer to demonstrate how he intended to fulfill his campaign promise of achieving bold change at a modest cost. As I mentioned, the King read a speech written by His Majesty's government at the state opening of Parliament, marking the formal start of the new government's work and setting out the upcoming legislation and planned state visits for the year. Photos and videos of the royal family from just a few hours ago are being shown here on screen in this new report. King Charles Roman III had a 10-minute intervention in the House of Lords in a ceremony marked by tradition. The monarch listed some of the more than 35 bills that the executive under Starmer had a majority to pass in the coming months. This was not the first time Charles read the so-called sovereign speech he did so with Rishi Sunak when he replaced him in May 2022. The monarch was transported to the Palace of Westminster from Buckingham Palace in a carriage pulled by six white horses, accompanied by Queen Camilla, who coincidentally turned 77 today, this Wednesday. Upon entering the upper chamber, King Charles Roman III wore the imperial state crown, which is kept in the Tower of London throughout the year, and symbolizes the important relationship between the monarchy and parliament. This piece weighs more than one kg and contains nearly three 000 diamonds, 17 sapphires, 11 emeralds, 5 rubies, and 273 pearls. As for the Princess of Wales, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams has recently said it is very likely that Princess Kate Middleton will appear again in the future. We wonder what the future holds, and when her next appearance will be, this renowned UK royal commentator told the magazine that Princess Kate had dazzled at Wimbledon, where fans received her with a well-deserved standing ovation. According to this expert, Fitzwilliams said he believed we would see more of Kate from now on. In statements to The Sun, he said he thought it meant a lot to the Princess of Wales to be there and witness it all, fulfilling her duty as patron of the All England Lawn Tennis Club, which is close to her heart. It was also a very touching moment when she received a standing ovation, demonstrating how much people cared for her during these difficult months when she underwent a major abdominal operation and preventive chemotherapy, which was overwhelming. The commentator described the princess as relaxed and at ease during this event and praised her appearance as vital and joyful for the royal family. I think if you wear such an impressive purple dress and carry it with the grace and beauty that only she can, you know where the main attention will be, apart from the tennis court, of course. Fitzwilliams added, he also believes there may well be more appearances in the near future. It's a very complicated time for the royal family, with two senior members, including the king, battling cancer. In this case, someone not present is Sarah Ferguson, and this would undoubtedly be a step forward, a step that made people happy. That standing ovation for the Princess of Wales was well deserved. It's said that the next appearance of Kate Middleton is expected soon. In fact, some speculate she will attend two more events this year, including the Remembrance Day service and the Christmas parade at Sandringham. We'll see if this prediction comes true. Perhaps we'll see more of Kate in the summer. I predicted that we would probably get a photo soon, as comments always circulate about the royal family, especially on social media, where the accounts of the Princes of Wales are constantly active. An article from People magazine highlighted all the photos of Kate at Wimbledon, considering them the best photos according to the magazine, which has frequently covered Kate with many exclusives about the Wales family. Today, they published what they consider the best photos, the first one arriving in style along with Princess Charlotte, crossing the famous bridge seen in recent years in videos of the Princess of Wales arriving at the Wimbledon Trophy presentation. 
This article in People magazine in the United States featured a photo of Kate and Charlotte that I hadn't seen before, just this frame from the video. They are releasing frames from videos posted by Wimbledon via Kensington Palace. Here we see Charlotte arriving with her mother, welcomed by the All England Lawn Tennis Club. The third photo shows her greeting different tennis players, including one in a wheelchair, Lucy Schuker, with photos from AP Images and other associations. The fourth photo shows the return to the stands and the standing ovation, which was indeed a powerful image for Catherine. Lastly, there is a photo of Alcarez receiving the trophy, which he will undoubtedly never forget. A day of girls, with Pippa, Charlotte, and Kate on the right, was the headline from The Sun, which I think we will comment on later in this video. I have been recording different takes throughout the last hour, mostly because we uploaded a video trying to compile all the photos and videos and then the trophy presentation. We are now recording this new article, Pippa and Charlotte laughing and whispering with some gestures we'll discuss later, maybe tomorrow. A close bond with a new photo of Charlotte and Catherine Middleton in matching sunglasses, with Charlotte's glasses having a pinkish or reddish tone, possibly the same ones she wore in a previous photo with her mother. These are the eight best photos according to People magazine from this event, although it lacks photos of the trophy presentation. I just published a video of Catherine Middleton's reappearance at Wimbledon, a video that was a bit difficult to upload due to copyright issues with Wimbledon, especially for the tennis final. I will try to create this video with images and some videos, but it's quite challenging due to the strict copyright. We will also talk about Princess Charlotte, who the media referred to as the protective Princess Charlotte, staying close to her mother while enjoying the men's Wimbledon final. According to The Sun, the nine-year-old girl stayed very close to Catherine when they arrived at the All England Lawn Tennis Club. During this final between Novak Djokovic and Carlos Alcaraz, she stayed close to her mother in the royal box, making some slightly concerned gestures. When they arrived, they greeted the staff before entering, with Kate wearing a purple dress and Charlotte in a blue dress from Guess, worth around 70 pounds and cream-colored flat shoes. She continued to stay close to her mother as they took their seats in the royal box. Kate hasn't been seen in public events without her children, with Charlotte this time, and previously with Louis and George. An incredibly moving moment occurred when Charlotte looked proudly at her mother, as some royal commentators mentioned. Pippa Middleton was seen smiling deeply and applauding in the central court, with everyone giving a standing ovation, including Tom Cruise and Benedict Cumberbatch, who joined the enthusiastic response to their arrival. This ovation was mentioned in a previous video. Although it's unclear if Kate will attend Wimbledon with any of her children, it seems she decided to spend a day with her daughter and sister. The news probably disappointed Prince Louis VI, who missed the event last year and again this year. The crowds will surely miss Louis, known for his fun antics. Last year at Trooping the Color, Prince Louis's antics were widely discussed. In a televised speech in March, Catherine announced her battle with cancer and spoke about her children, saying it took a long time to explain to George, Charlotte, and Louis appropriately and reassure them she would be fine. She said she was fine and getting stronger every day, focusing on things that would help heal her mind, body, and spirit. The Sun reported that Kate's stunning purple dress at Wimbledon sent a secret message. The expert explained that the dress's color symbolized calm and tranquility. Kate, accompanied by Pippa Middleton, who wore a mid-length purple dress with ruffled details, matched with a beige purse and heels, added a small dark green bow to the right of her dress. This bow was a nod to the All England Tennis and Croquet Club, where Kate is a patron and represents its official colors. Princess Charlotte looked elegant in a polka dot dress. Jules Standish, an expert, told Fabulous magazine that the purple in Kate's dress is considered a calming tone, perhaps to soothe spectators looking for more photos and theories about Kate Middleton. 
The Princess of Wales has been chosen annually to present the awards to the tournament winners, and this year, she did not want to miss the occasion. Kate made an effort to reappear in public for this important commitment, recognizing how crucial it was for the future Queen of England to attend the event with her daughter Charlotte and sister Pippa Middleton. Her biological family, especially her parents, were her great support, but they were not present today, with her sister accompanying her instead, showing public support in her cancer battle. Jules Standish noted that purple is often associated with power, luxury, and glamour, while also being calming, highlighting Catherine's unique personality and discreet leadership qualities in a creative and visionary way. Kate, an avid tennis fan, rarely misses Wimbledon, and some royal experts, such as hook bikers, shared this announcement, saying it was a significant step forward for the Princess of Wales and positive news amid her treatment. The historian spoke to the Sun, saying it was good news not only because Wimbledon would have the most exciting match tomorrow in the men's final, with Djokovic playing against Alcaraz, but also because Catherine, the Princess of Wales, would be the cherry on top. Everyone had been waiting for her to be well enough to attend, and they say she is still undergoing treatment and must take things day by day. She mentioned during the Trooping the Color that she was feeling better and healing day by day, but still needed time to recover fully. If all goes well, Catherine will be ready to present the trophy on Sunday. All of this is good news after a challenging year for the royal family. It has been a difficult time with significant events, and Catherine's presence at Wimbledon is undoubtedly a positive sign for many people.